People gathered outside Union Station to remember Major Maurice Rose, a World War II veteran from Denver. And the folks there did it in a big way. One of Rose's last surviving soldiers, Clarence Smoyer, rode a tank through downtown Denver to remember his leader. He then shared his story with our Tory Mason. People watched as history rolled through Union Station. But the tank wasn't nearly as fascinating as the man inside. And he got on the phone and said, Duh, gentlemen, I give you cologne. Let's knock the hell out of it. And uh, we did. Clarence Smoyer fired the shots that helped disable German tanks and win the battle for cologne. It's in my mind all the time. Rare footage of the battle was captured by combat photographer Jim Bates of Colorado Springs. Saturday marks 74 years since the death of Smoyer's leader, Major General Rose. As far as I'm concerned, he was the greatest general in the entire war. It's a terrible shame that he got shot down, but uh, I'll always remember him. The Denver native was the highest ranking American to die in action during the war in Europe. He was a general who always wanted to lead from the front and it cost him his life. Broomfield author Adam Makos wrote a book detailing Smoyer's journey. Soldier, get your helmet on. <laughs> a missing piece of his uniform sets him apart on the cover. The battles must have scared me or something. My hair straightened out and finally fell out. <laughs> Smoyer and Mako signed copies of Spearhead inside Union Station, the perfect venue to remember Rose. That's where a lot of our soldiers went off to war. Sometimes that was where they said goodbye to their loved ones for the last time. Guys like General Rose who never came home. In Denver, I'm Tori Mason, covering Colorado First. The two men brought a memorial painting of the Spearhead Division with them, and you can see it hanging in Denver's Union Station.